planet has a way of keeping things in balance. Within limits, nature's cycles maintain an environment in which life as we know it can be sustained. Natural resources and the raw materials they provide are part of this balance. They are also the basis of our economies. Construction materials such as sand and gravel account for the largest share of OECD materials consumption in weight. Next come fossil energy carriers such as oil, coal and natural gas, biomass for food and feed and metals and metal ores. The more materials we consume, the more environmental pollution we cause and down the line some materials may become scarce. Globally, the extraction of material resources continues to grow closely following economic growth. But we are seeing signs of decoupling. In OECD countries, the growth of material extraction and use is slowing down while GDP continues to grow. Material consumption peaked at slightly above 18 tons per capita in 1980. Since then, there has been a slow reduction to 17 tons per capita today. That may sound like a very slight progress, but over the same period, economic output has doubled. We use 45% less material for each unit of economic output, a real improvement in resource productivity. But the sheer scale of that increased output means that environmental pressures have not fallen. In fact, they have continued to intensify in many areas, leading to a doubling of material consumption at the global level since 1980. Several countries have been showing us how these worrying trends can be reversed. Germany, Italy and Japan have succeeded in decoupling material consumption from economic growth in absolute terms and diminished their overall domestic material consumption. They have recognized that with the right policies based on the three R's reduce, reuse, recycle, waste is not something to be discarded, but a resource that can be fed back to the economy. Efforts in municipal waste management and recycling have been central in contributing to this success. Further efforts in sustainable waste and materials management are needed from all. Governments can encourage resource productivity through fees for the use of resources, charges for environmental damage or by supporting longer product lifespans through the increase of legal minimum warranty periods. In 2010, increasing the lifespan of mobile devices by 50% would have avoided the generation of 50 million end-of-life mobile devices in the US alone, reducing waste by one-third. With appropriate incentives, the private sector can identify new business models linked to improved resource efficiency of production processes and realize that less material can mean more value. The car sharing rental model is a good example. Consumers need to be more aware of the role that every one of us can play and contribute through better product choices and behavior. The OECD is actively supporting its member countries in these efforts.